Jared Nation uh, on YouTube. Jared here. I got this uh, stew I made. It's got a bunch of stuff in it. It's got carrots, um, cilantro, mushrooms. Um, I keep forgetting the name of this one. Asparagus, um, chicken patty, carrots. If you want to see the video of how I make this, check out the previous video. And it should have the names of each thing in there. This is a video where I eat it, you know. I have certain viewers that I watch me eat it, certain viewers like me cooking stuff, certain viewers who like, you know, different things. So this is a mushroom that I put in there. Check that out. Huh. The video where I eat, where I make it, might seem more, might look more appealing because of um, I'm talking about the quality of the video because of uh, I had the flash on. There's more light, so maybe you can't see as good in this video because uh, there's no light, so it's not it's not gonna be as bright as that uh, other video. Oh, my glasses are fogging up. This is what happens when the steam gets on them. Look. No, they're, they're fucking up a little bit, but not enough. So this is this this doesn't look good from what you're seeing, but I if you know like like you go to the Chinese buffet and you see this in the buffet, it is super good. Like you see it with uh, shh, they'll be on the grill, the put the oils. Uh, I don't remember what it's called, but I used to work at Lynn's buffet. It's like a Chinese buffet, and it's like the best. Um, part of the restaurant is the grill. They have this huge, massive grill. That, shh, you get like you pick shrimp. It's uncooked, and they they put it on the thing. You know what I'm talking about? If you've been to a Chinese buffet. Mm. This is good. I forgot what it was called though. Not bad for that grill. When you go in the Chinese buffet, they'll say it on there. But I haven't been in one since I, I lived in Houston, so. I vlogged the last time me and Tia were at. We're on the way back from somewhere. Oh, this weird small town. I forget the name of this weird small town. In Texas. Weird place. People like, people live there. Ah, it's a weird place, man. I gotta look at it. I don't know what name, I don't know the name. But I'm from a small town. I'm from Brownsville in Los Fresno, Texas. Born in San Antonio. This small town was smaller than Los Fresno's. And Los Fresno's is smaller than Brownsville. So it's like super small. This is so good. Wow. Wow. Mm. I don't know how much nutrients it took away. I don't think it took away a whole lot. But when you cook it, it changes the chemistry of the food. So I don't know what we lost, but... It's still t it's worth the taste. Mm. And I put some lemon juice in here, so lime juice. I forgot to show it in the video, but it it makes it taste even better.
We have had to turn jobs. Vince Buffet was one of them. And uh, when I get a new job, I just put the job most applicable to what I'm applying for. For instance, if I'm working at a fast food job, I'll just put like McDonald's or something fast food that I've worked, Sane, whatever. If I'm getting a more upscale job, like uh, or a different kind of job, like Radio Shack, maybe I put like something in sales because they we had to do sales, or you know, it has to be applicable to that job. But I've had so many, I could kind of do that, I guess. The longest I've been at a job, seven months at Toys R Us in Houston. I've had over 40 jobs. And I'm going to try to stay here the longest. I've already been here over a month. I think maybe two months. So, Fingers crossed. You know, It feels like I can make it here a long time. But you never know. I and my life, me and my life are very sporadic. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. Like, maybe, maybe in a different state tomorrow or a different country. I don't know, city or I don't know, different things. It may not be here at all. <laughs> it might be there, you know. I don't know. So, you know what I'm saying? No guarantee in life. But I'm saying my life is even more. I don't know where I'm going to be at than most people. This is ready to go. It's funny because some people rep their town or whatever. Like, if you're from everywhere, if you're not staying in one place, you can't rep everything. It's it's really dumb. So I mean, the person that's probably going places is probably more at an advantage than the person that's not going places because you experience more pe different kinds of people, different um, thing. But it, it's also like. It can affect your mind a certain way too, like, it depends how you do it. If you do it too sporadically, like if you're traveling a lot, it's okay, the same thing like if you are on a plane, you get jet lag, right? If you are moving around too much on a bus and a car, you get uh, car sick, whatever, like, you need to stay in one spot and then go somewhere. Like, it's better just to my opinion is better to stay in one place, uh, but to travel. It's good to travel, but you can stay in different places if you want. But it's good to get out and see other places too, though, not to stay in the same spot. You're not going to learn as much. Like You'll learn more about culture and thinking, food. It's one thing to uh, see a place or someone talking online about something, but it's different to go there, you know. So. Next year, you're planning on into India. So that should be pretty fun. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share.
Really super good. Super good. Wow. Mm-hmm. 